On this video we're going to discuss the dealer network requirements as well as the equipment requirements to properly utilize the YTEC 1.0 and YTEC 2.0 systems. Remember, professional IT resources should always be used when performing network changes. IT workers stick with networking, technicians stick with vehicles. The YTEC Premium Support Help Desk has network specialists available at normal business hours for consulting at 1-888-YTEC-1. For best performance, directly connect your PCs and laptops to the YTEC network using the available ports on the WAG. This ensures that devices are protected by the WAG's firewall and that they have direct access to the tools connected to a vehicle. Also, devices within the YTEC dedicated tool network are much less likely to encounter bandwidth issues due to streaming media. Uh, always make sure that there are designated IPs for YTEC, so do not use these IPs for other things such as printers, etc. For a list of ports and URLs that require access, you can reference the Knowledge Base article, YTEC 2.0 System Network Requirements. You want to ensure your internet connection has adequate bandwidth for the YTEC system as well. The minimum recommended connection speed is 1.5 megabits per second dedicated for each YTEC device on the network. This bandwidth is only what is needed for the best YTEC functionality. It does not account for the wireless needs of the rest of the dealership. So for example, if you have four technicians each using their own micropod at the same time, they will need a connection speed of at least 6 megabits per second for the best YTEC performance. The use of other web services such as Dealer Connect and Star Parts in the service area also need to be taken into effect when calculating required network bandwidth. Larger dealers will use approximately 10 megabits per second of data for Star Parts and Dealer Connect on top of the needed YTEC bandwidth. These numbers are in addition to the bandwidth required for the rest of the dealership's operations such as the service lane, sales, or customers using the guest network. Also, you want to always avoid daisy chaining switches and hubs to increase the available network ports. You should instead use a central switch that has the correct number of ports for your dealership. YTEC 1.0 and YTEC 2.0 are both essential tools. There is a requirement of at least three functioning diagnostic devices being available to the technicians. However, it is recommended that one YTEC device is available per technician. Since micropods are no longer compatible between YTEC 1.0 and YTEC 2.0, it is recommended that these devices are labeled so that they won't be confused. That's all for this video. For additional networking information, go ahead and visit the YTEC Knowledge Base or contact the YTEC Premium Support Help Desk at 1-888-YTEC-1.